Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The Tony Award winning best musical Moulin Rouge is back on Broadway. And I'm here at the Al Hirschfeld Theater to catch up with the latest sateen, Natalie Mendoza. Ladies and gentlemen, bohemians and artists, coquettes and boulevardiers, may I present to you our sparkling diamond, the unique, the indomitable, the one and only, Welcome to the Moulin Rouge. How excited are you to be standing out here in front of the Al Hirschfeld? Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled, you know, to come back to Broadway, especially after COVID. This is just a dream come true to be part of this story. It's beautiful. Um, full circle moment for you, of course. Of course, you were in the film version as China Doll, and now you're playing Satine. Yeah. How incredible is that? So it's incredible. I, um, you know, 20 something years ago, I auditioned for the role of Satine, and then off the back of that, Baz cast me in the role of China Doll. And so to be actually playing the character I, I originally auditioned for <laughs> is totally mind blowing 20 years later. So. Okay, so what was it like going back into rehearsal, like that first day of rehearsal, being back with a company? What was that like? It was, um, it was pretty daunting, to be honest, but I think just, you know, stepping outside into the big wide world felt daunting yeah. because I'd been cloistered away at home during COVID and uh, to be around so many people was incredibly new, uh, but thrilling. And, you know, I just had to take one step at a time. And I, I do that every night, just one step at a time, one quick change at a time. <laughs> okay, so of course, for people who may not know, you're lowered from the ceiling and this, she has the most incredible entrance in this show. What was it like being up there for the first night when you were lowered in front of a live audience? It was so wonderful. It, the whole thing is breathtaking. Uh, you know, it's very, um, the, the, the entrance is very, uh, feels very much like a Greek myth, you know, uh, coming out from the, descending from the heavens. But um, it was so beautiful. I mean, it's a dream to, to be able to have an entrance like that for sure. And just being in front of a live audience again, we missed this for almost two years. So that first night you had a live audience, you're up there, you hear the applause happening. What was that first night like? You know, I was actually, I, I felt I was welling up with tears. It was incredibly emotional and it was such a beautiful reminder of how much our, what we do as actors completely relies on the relationship we have with our audience so it really reminded you of the value of community not just with what with the community backstage but the, the audience is part of our community so it was, it was beautiful okay you work with Alex Timbers before of course here lies love I mean he's directing you again in this what was that like reunion like oh you know Alex Timbers is one of my favorite directors uh, he's an absolute dream he He's such a visionary. Um, I, I felt so blessed and so humbled to work with him again. Uh, we, we have such a beautiful working relationship. We have a, a real relationship of trust. I think that was what was fantastic was that we had already worked together. So I kind of knew the way he worked yeah. and he, he trusts his actors. You know, he casts who he wants to cast and then we find our way together. And um, he really gave me permission to cr uh, create the role for myself in a, in a completely new light and um, it's been such a beautiful gift every single night. I mean, what's it like being a part of the world of Moulin Rouge? It's such an incredible musical. People fly in from all around the world to see this musical. They fall in love with it. What's it been like? I think there's a really glorious message um, that uh, Baz created yeah. in, in the film, actually. Uh, and then to suddenly experience it on stage, you know, the, the, the whole, uh, his whole attitude of inclusion, you know, um, Danny Bernstein's uh, speeches as Ziedler. Actually, you, if you actually listen to what he's saying, it's abs so beautiful the way uh, it, it encourages the bohemian in all of us and also is so accepting of everybody in society. And that's what I love. It, it's this beautiful, um, it's this home for every kind of uh, person, every kind of misfit, everybody's welcome. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you saw yourself done up as that teen in the mirror, wig, costume, everything, and makeup? Like, what went through your mind? Um, well, that was actually the first time the poster behind me. I, I was actually in shock. It would have been a long time since I'd, you know, put any makeup on. So, uh, you know, 
wonderful because it it helped me transform. It's very helpful as an actor that 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 preparation uh, to be able to transform into something that is quite different to who I am really as a person. So yeah, I mean I love it. So much. Like this is all the noise on the street. Like you know these streets were like there was no energy on these streets during the shutdown. Broadway is back. All the marquees are lit. People are lining up to buy tickets. I mean this is right before a performance tonight. Um, just like the first time you walked in the stage door at the Al Hirschfeld, how exciting was that for you? It was, you know, I, I just every single day I would pinch myself and, you know, I, I was really every single day I wondered whether we would get to opening night. It just felt like we were all holding our breath and there was always that thing with COVID, is it really going to happen? Yeah. And, and now it's happening and it's just, it's so joyful and really the message of Moulin Rouge is it's, it's such a, it has such a message of joy yeah. that I think it's the medicine that the entire universe needs right now. So to be part of that is so, so beautiful. But we also let people know the theater is one of the safest places to be right now. I mean, the COVID, uh, precautions that everybody looks out for. I mean, the testing and everything else. Just talk about how, how safe it is to be in a Broadway theater now in a C theater. Yeah, well, it, I mean, even working uh, at the theater, we're hypervigilant. Yeah. Uh, we get tested every couple of days. Um, we have to, you know, obviously adhere to all the protocols. Um, everybody's masked. Uh, yeah. Everyone, the, the theater's cleaned, you know, beyond. So it's it actually feels like one of the safest places to be in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you walked into your dressing room here at the Al Hirschfeld? I did. I I was I couldn't believe it. You know, it was it's one of the biggest dressing rooms I've ever had. And then they actually told me I could paint my dressing room the color I wanted, which was so bizarre to me, and I felt so spoiled. And it just looks like a you know you're inside a candy shop. <laughs> what color did you paint it? I painted it a light lavender and lots of pastels, and you know it's very girly. I mean, it's your home away from home. You're here eight times a week, you know, right? I mean, it's your new home. It literally is my new home, you know. It's got all my teas and all my goodies and my sage, I, you know, and everything. So it's beautiful. What's your go-to? What's one of the last things you do before they, they hoist you up there, before you're lowered? What's one of the last things you do? Um, you know, I have such a close relationship yeah. with my dresser, Michelle Sesco. She is an absolute angel and she always says, um, make it your best one. And we have our little sort of ritual that we have. And uh, I have my angels and Daniel, yeah. my wig person, you know, they sort of follow me throughout the entire evening and they get me through. So, yeah. And just what it means to be a part of Broadway. I mean, it's so exciting again, like everything is open again. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's beautiful to be a part of the, you know, this bubbling atmosphere that is continuing to build and um, we want to just keep building this story of positivity and, you know, you remember f really what Broadway is all about, which is to um, remind us of uh, how we can, you know, understand our human condition and stay inspired and hopeful and, you know, that's what we're all doing here is, is uh, sharing in the healing of this city. It's beautiful. Because you've had so much success in films and TV, many people may be coming to the theater for the first time because you're in this show and you're going to introduce them to this whole new world of theater, what that means to you. You know, uh, it, it's it's funny because theater is really my first love, and and it's the place where I'm really able to delve into my entire skill set. I trained classically as an actor, and I've never felt that that has been demonstrated on film or TV. You know, so so for the fans to come and experience me in this light, this is really I I think what I was born to do, and uh, it, it feels really really special. I mean, the Moulin Rouge fans is nothing like them. I mean, I know you can't meet them afterwards, but you wave to them and everything else. But just when the second the music starts in that theater, you must feel their energy. Oh, I do. And um, they're they're so so sweet and so devoted. The fans. I do sometimes photo bomb them from behind. They don't realize, and I pull my mask down just quickly. And and uh, so when they get home, they might see me in the back of a photo because uh, it does feel a little heartbreaking that I can't spend that time with them at stage door. Like we used to but hopefully someday soon we'll be able to you know chat in person and do all that again and what it means you just to be in new york at oh. this time with broadway back oh it's it's absolutely unbelievable i never thought i'd have this opportunity again to perform on broadway and uh you know especially coming from australia i came from a little suburb in australia and uh this is beyond any dream that i could have had and uh again i think this is this will be a role I'll never forget. It's truly an astonishing role for any woman. It's, it's wonderful. 
Because we're standing here, you're getting ready to do a show, and I thank you very much for that, because I mean, you have a seven o'clock show tonight to do. What's going through your mind right now? The marquees are all lit, people are lining up to come in to see the show. Like, how are you feeling? Um, you know, I always try to take, I, I love walking past as people are lining up, because it really reminds me, oh, this is their first time, and I've got to, you know, this is really special for everybody that's coming every single night. So that's always such a beautiful reminder, and I have my, you know, set of uh, practices and rituals that I go through of warming up and and um, focusing and meditating. So uh, I, I do all that just so that I can do the best show possible. Well, thank you for doing this for me. Oh, it's so great to see you and welcome back to Broadway. Thank you so much. Such an honor to be here. Natalie, thank you, my love.